Thank you so much. All right, well, welcome everyone. My name is Bianca Simboli, and I am a Senior Assistant Director of International Admission at Lynn University. Um, we're located in Boca Raton, Florida um, in the United States. So um, I will be sharing, this is one of my favorite topics to talk about, uh, and it's helping you write a personal statement. I think this is one of the biggest challenges in terms of uh, completing your application to a lot of the US universities. Um, there's a lot of questions about what you can write, what you shouldn't write, um, and it can be vague from in institution to institution. So I love talking about this and helping students through it. Um, we will have a question and answer session at the end of my presentation. So throughout the presentation, if you have questions, please feel free to put them in the Q&A section and I'll be sure to answer all of them and save some time for that. Um, and you can feel free to do that throughout the presentation and we'll go back to it uh, toward the end. So I'm sure you can see my screen at this point. So I am going to get started. Um, in terms of just talking about the essay and the personal statement that you need um, to submit with your applications, this is certainly going to vary from institution to institution. Um, so every university has different requirements in terms of what their what kind of topic they're looking for and um, and like how many essays you have to write and the length. So before I get started, it's always important for you to speak with the specific admission counselors at each university because you want to make sure that you're getting the information that they're, they're going to need. But generally speaking, I'll talk a bit about the purpose and some tips and tricks that you can use in, in terms of writing your essay, getting started, and really what as admission counselors we're looking for in the essay. So to get started, what's the purpose of the essay, right? Um, when you think about your application, there's a lot of different components that you'll be submitting uh, with, with the application. So your application, really, every student's going to submit their information, their address, what school they go to. Um, so it's a lot of biographical information that doesn't necessarily tell us too much about who you are as a person. Um, your transcripts are Right at this point, you've you've done what you can. Um, you can't go back and change your grades. You can certainly keep your grades strong as you move forward, but that's also pretty standard information that you'll submit to us. Um, your letter of recommendation certainly you'll want to speak with uh, with your the people that are writing those recommendations, and hopefully they'll write you something that really speaks to your academic ability. But again, that's not something that you are necessarily in too much control of. But the essay component is really something that you can control from this point forward. So it gives you an opportunity to tell us your story, right? Um, that's what, as admission counselors, we want to hear throughout the essay. Um, it gives us different perspectives and shows a different side of you that the rest of your application doesn't tell us. So there's a lot of, um, there's obviously a lot of information you can share, certainly in a page or two, um, it won't tell your whole life story. It won't tell us everything about you, but we want to make sure that you, you can tell us a snapshot um, and something different. Um, there's a lot of different ways that you can approach the essay. If um, in particular you have the open-ended questions and you can certainly write about anything you want. Um, but again, we want it to relate back to you. So really what the essay does is it provides depth to the review committee. It shows us a different side of you. Um, and tells your story. A big part of what we look for in the application process is, are you a good fit for our university? And do, does the university have um, the resources that can perhaps support you and support your growth as a student and a person? Um, so a lot of times the content of what you write about is going to tell us uh, some information about that. So keep that in mind as you kind of go through the, this process. Um, that's a piece of what we're looking for. Um, a lot of students are worried that they have to write this very creative essay um, and have to tell us something like really unique or write it in a way that perhaps isn't in their own voice. Um, but really another piece of the essay is to also evaluate your writing skills. Um, in, in college and specifically in the US, we there's a lot of writing components to your curriculum once you start. So we want to make sure that your writing skills are at the, the meet the standards of what we're looking for to make sure that you'll be able to keep up with the work and um, that you'll be able to submit content that that will be useful to your program. Um, so those are just kind of a, a, a few topics in terms of what what we're doing with the essay. So when it comes to talking about your topics, these are some of the things that we want to see in your essay. So some students choose to write about their upbringing and 
and their life and how they got to the point that they're at now, um, we really want to hear your story. So again, you really want to think about, is this telling the admission committee who I am as a person, what I'm interested in, and um, is it showcasing a side of me, right? Is it showing my personality? And every student's different, right? You don't have to compare yourself to other students and what they've done. We want to hear your unique perspective, your unique story, um, what your interests are, um, and we want to hear it in your own voice. So some students aren't strong at writing creative prompts and things like that. They'd prefer to write a very standard traditional um, piece that just shares a lot about who they are, and that's completely fine. Uh, we read so many essays as admission counselors, um, so we can certainly see and kind of find trends when you're not necessarily sharing things in your own voice. Uh, so we want to make sure that you're really doing that and telling your story as you move through this process. Now, a lot of students, I think, get stuck on terms of how I structure this essay. So in high school and throughout your life, you've certainly written essays at this point. So don't stress too much about structure and things like that. You've done it before, right? So just like any essay that you might write for one of your classes, we also want to see an intro, a body, and a conclusion, right? Um, so you want to introduce the story that you're about to tell, um, give us a snapshot, use the body to then explain it, and then also conclude. So I think where students get caught up in this process is that they often want to write about so many things in their essay um, and want to tell us so many things in their essay. And I think that's often where an interview becomes useful is to meet with an admission counselor and talk about a few different things that you want to share with the admission committee. But your essay is really a place to tell us one story, right? So if you were to write a story for class or an essay for class, you're going to focus it on something specific, whether that was something that you read about, a report, um, even perhaps a, um, a research paper. It's focused on a very specific topic, and then you're providing depth to that topic. So we want to see the same thing. So when you think about structuring your essay, this is kind of the same concept of what you want to look at. Look at. So make sure that you're introducing your story, that one specific concept that you're going to tell us. Um, this is just an example essay that I have here um, that I've actually read myself and, and really loved. And it captured my attention, but wasn't necessarily overly creative, and that's OK. Um, it really showcased the story. I could uh, hear the student's voice in the essay. Um, so I think it was a really great essay to really tell the story of the student. Um, you can see that there was significant content here in the body. Um, there were a few paragraphs. Um, so you really want to explain how that topic or whatever it is that you choose to write about um, has impacted you or um, details that tell the full story. And then obviously you want to end with a conclusion at the bottom. Um, so you want to make sure that you're summarizing in a positive way. I think often students do write about um, very stressful or traumatic events that they've gone through. And I'll talk a little bit more about that after. Um, but you really want to summarize with a conclusion that relates to the university, tells the rest of your story, tells how you've moved on from that story or um, how it's moving you forward in life or how it's challenged you and what you've learned from it um, and keep it positive, right? We want to know that students are, are reflecting and um, looking back on experiences or stories and, and learning and showing how they've learned from it. So keep in mind that the structure is also what we're looking for. So now in terms of some of the, the do's for your essay. So Depending where you are in your application process and what deadlines that you have, um, you certainly want to brainstorm. Start early. Um, start writing down ideas, if you haven't already, about some things that just matter to you, right? That could be um, what's important to you in a college experience. What kind of university are you looking for? Um, what's, what's something that you feel a university has to have in order for you to be successful? Um, perhaps share an academic story, something um, that you're really proud of and how you learned from it and how that might carry you into your new academic setting at um, your university of choice. Um, you can certainly write about past life experiences that you've gone through and how you've learned from it. Um, so start writing some things down that just matter to you, right? And that tell the story of who it is that you are and how you want to show up to the world. Um, Going back to, to the structure of the essay in terms of directly answering the prompt, 
you want to make sure that you are actually answering the question that you signed up to write. And we'll go through some of the prompts um, a little bit later in this presentation, but you want to be direct. Um, so some universities will ask you specific questions. So if you're filling out the common application, you certainly have a variety of prompts that you can work through. Uh, but some universities will have some more specific prompts that you need to focus on. So make sure that you're directly answering the question that you've been asked to answer and being concise when you do it. Um, and that goes back to structuring it properly, right? What's the question? What's the content I want to provide? And how do I put this into an intro body and a conclusion? Um, number three is really important. I think this is going back to looking at the whole application, right? You want to write about something here in your essay that's not showcased anywhere else in your application. You want to utilize your application process to tell us as much about you as possible. So oftentimes I find that students will go back and write about all of the activities they listed in their resume, or they'll list all of the classes that they've taken if they're a strong AP student or they've been taking honors courses. Um, we see that you're taking those honors courses in your transcript. So you don't necessarily have to list them out in your essay because we already see it elsewhere. So really think about what you're putting in the essay. Um, even if you're if you're involved in extracurricular activities, um, don't use the essay as a place to necessarily list everything. What you would want to do is if there's something specific that you want to talk about that is noted in your application somewhere else, use your essay to, to provide us more context and depth about that particular activity. So if there's perhaps you've been in a leadership role in one of your clubs or organizations. Um, tell us what you've done. Tell us an important event that you perhaps hosted or um, something specific that, that you did within that organization that either impacted you or your community um, in which that organization existed. So that's really how you want to write about other pieces. But again, think about using it as a space to, to really showcase another side of you that we don't see anywhere else in the documents that you've submitted. Again, you want to use detail. Tell us how the experience has impacted you. Um, I think students get caught up in, well, what's the word count and how long does this have to be? Um, and this goes into the, the fifth point, too, in terms of talking about appropriate length. Um, at least for us at the university that I work for, um, we want you to just tell us your story. So we don't have a very specific word count. I often tell students 750 words, 1,000 words, um, about a page. And that's usually when students say, well, does it have to be double spaced or single spaced? Um, we want you to tell us a story in the way that makes sense to you. So I personally don't want to want you to limit yourself. Um, if there's if you need two pages to tell us your story, that's OK. Um, if you need half a page um, to be able to concisely tell us something, that's OK, too. Um, some schools do have word minimums and maximums that you are required to meet. So you want to keep that in mind. Um, but instead of worrying so much about the word count and how long something has to be, just focus on telling us the detail that matters for that topic. Um, think about how you might showcase how you'll impact a college community or how what you've learned up to this point um, will matter for the university that you go to and 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 why you'll be a great contributor to that environment. So just think about using detail and, and sharing a story and, and being able to allow us as professionals and the committee review to visualize what it is that you want to tell us. You certainly want to use structure and appropriate length and proofread. Um, don't just submit the first draft of your essay. Make sure someone's read it. Um, having someone else like a teacher or a counselor that you trust read your essay is important. Um, because you want to make sure that you're from someone who doesn't know the story, they're able to offer you suggestions as to how to tweak it and how to make it um, make a little more sense to someone that doesn't know anything about you. Um, so make sure you're using that structure and, and proofreading and editing and seeking out the people that you trust to to help tell your story. Um, and you want to make sure it's relatively free of, of mistakes, right? Um, and that punctuation and grammar is is good in it. Um, we certainly know that mistakes happen. We live in a digital world and we're constantly typing and sending emails and text messages. Um, so there's certainly room for error, but um, you, you definitely want to make sure that your, your essay is clean when you submit that as a piece to your application. In terms of what not to do, um, for the first one, I think this goes back to really telling your story, right? 
you don't want to let an adult influence what you write about unless you're asking for assistance. So mom and dad, I know that you love to input and you have so many great things to say about your, your students, but um, this really is their time and your time to showcase who it is that you are. So if you're asking for assistance and moving through that brainstorming process to kind of figure out what it is you should write about, that's great. But make sure that it's something that matters to you and that it's important to you and that you're able to convey your own voice in that story by sharing the story of you. Um, you definitely don't want to speak negatively about a person, organization, perhaps belief systems, etc. You never know who is on the other end of the application and reading your essay um, and what their belief systems are and what matters to them, in addition to perhaps who they might know. So you want to make sure that if you're telling a story about something that you're passionate about, whether in a positive or negative way, that you're you're very much talking about how you've learned from something again, right? You want to make, you want to put a positive light on your essay um, and not use that as a space to talk about something um, that you don't like or that um, is a negative, negative um, experience perhaps. You also don't want to write about someone else unless that person is imperative in telling the story about you. Again, this goes back to telling us who you are. Um, oftentimes, students will love to write about mentors or uh, grandparents or heroes or people that are really important in their life, but then they end up writing a biography about that person um, instead of telling us about them. So if you're going to use um, the space to tell us about some how someone has impacted your life, make sure you're bringing it back to you and what you've learned from it. Um, so make sure if you are going to write about those special people in your life um, or things in your life that you're telling us that story about you. Um, unless you're using this as a creative uh, writing space. Um, another tip too to that is that oftentimes students will write about um, submit papers from their classes. Um, I don't necessarily recommend doing that unless it's been asked for by a specific university. You really want to give us a unique piece um, in this essay uh, space. Again, you don't want to use the opportunity to just list your achievements. Some students will write one paragraph and say, I'm involved in this X, Y, and Z. Um, I've gotten this GPA, I'm a strong student, that's why I should go to your university. Um, again, we see that, so make sure you're not using that as the space to do so. And you certainly don't want to mention another college or university in your application. Um, so with, especially with the common app prompts, obviously we know students are applying to more than one university. Um, I, as a professional, encourage you to do so. You certainly want to keep your options open, but at the same time, when we get your essay, I want to know that you want to attend Lynn University or that you are, are really excited to be with us. Um, we want to know that you're, we are your first choice, even if that's maybe not the case. Um, and we're realistic about that, certainly. But put the time and effort to make sure that you're adjusting those essays. If you are writing something specific about why you want to attend specific universities, make sure that you're not mentioning that um, another college or university um, when you submit it to a specific place. Now, here are some of the common app prompts um, that you've probably seen at this point. So if you are applying for the com with the common application, um, most universities, if they're on common app, they're going to accept these essay prompts. Um, some of them will have additional prompts that you want to consider um, or that you'll have to submit as a supplemental topic. Uh, I, I want to go through a couple of them, and I think the last one specifically. Um, but in terms of the essay prompts, like when you're asked a question like this, you want to make sure, again, you're, at, you're answering the question. Um, it is difficult to talk about some of these topics, and perhaps you don't resonate with them, and they, they're not things that you feel like you can answer and tell us some detail about yourself. Um, but again, that first one is really, again, talking about your identity, talking about who you are, um, what's meaningful in your life, um, and what do you feel that we need to know about you that's important in sharing your story. Uh, the second question, again, uh, talking about obstacles, right? This is where we want to talk about um, a positive, how you've learned from something, how you faced a challenge, and and what did, how did it affect you? Um, but again, what did you learn from that experience? So this is an important place to sometimes talk about students maybe struggled in, in a class, perhaps, um, that you thought you were going to do really well in. Why did you struggle? Um, what challenges did you face there and how did you learn from it? Or how did you overcome those challenges? Certainly you'll, you'll encounter challenges when you get to the university setting as well. So you wanna make sure that um, you're showcasing that you, you have the ability to overcome those. Um, 
sometimes universities want to know like what are your belief systems what what's important to you or thinking critically um i think question number three is really an opportunity to showcase your critical thinking skills um and being able to see under and understand different perspectives that are different from your own um, so I think that's a great question to answer if you feel like you have been challenged before on your belief systems or you feel that you've learned about someone else's belief system or an idea that didn't quite make sense to you or that you didn't understand at first, but um, you perhaps came around to or learned something new about. Um, so that's a really great question to showcase your critical thinking abilities. Um, if you are more of an analytical person or um, have been in a situation to, to solve problems or you're going into a degree program to solve problems, uh, question four is a great, great opportunity for you to explain that and showcase how you can look at a challenge, look at a dilemma and, and put a, a, um, like a learning experience and, and taking and finding a solution to a problem. Um, again, showcasing how you would do that. Um, a lot of our students have accomplishments or different events that they've put together, um, personal growth, right? Showcase that. Tell us about the event. Tell us how you've contributed to that. Um, what's something that you knew that you learned from it? Um, what do you love to do, right? Describe a topic, idea, or concept that um, just that you love to be consumed in. And this can be really anything. Um, I think it's important to showcase who you are and not be afraid of that. Um, we've read some really interesting essays that, that really show some interest in students um, that are exciting and that I've found often I've learned from students even through their application process and learned about different topics and ideas. So don't be afraid to share something that's unique to you that you absolutely love to do um, because we want to understand that and know more about you. And again, this last um, number seven, share an essay or topic of your choice. I think this is the hardest question to answer. Um, because it really just is so vague, right? And there's not a lot of direction with it. But oftentimes students want to do this essay because they don't necessarily resonate with the other questions. So this is where you really want to take a lot of the feedback that I gave you um, in previous slides and talk about things that are important to you. Um, Certainly, like it says, you can submit one that you've already written, but make sure that it's intentional and that you're submitting something that um, makes sense to submit to a particular university. Um, but you definitely want to showcase yourself. And again, if you're going to share an essay on a specific topic, this is really where you want to focus in and pick one topic um, and design your essay around that. So just make sure that you're um, really using that as a space to engage the reader and tell us something specific. And this is where you may have to um, provide a little bit more detail. Um, so just keep that in mind and, and make sure that you're clearly articulating what it is that you want to say and what is the outcome? What will this tell an admission counselor about me that is important for them to know? So I think those are some of the important things to think through when you're, when you're looking at the common prompts. Um, and then certainly a lot, like I said, a lot of colleges will have supplemental essay topics that are specific to their university, such as why do you want to attend Lynn, Lynn University? How will Lynn University make you successful? Um, what resources do we have that, that you feel will help you get to where it is that you want to be after graduation? Um, so you want to make sure that you've done a little bit of research on those universities. Make sure that you're answering the question. Um, for us, for example, we get a lot of students on that question that students are like, well, I love Florida and I love the beach, so I want to study there. Um, but that doesn't tell us why you want to be at Lynn specifically. Um, I certainly love the beach in Florida and it's a great uh, draw to our campus location, but um, give us a little more depth. Tell us why you wanna be with us, why you wanna be in our environment. Um, all of the universities that you're looking at have tons of information and resources on their website. So make sure that you're taking a look at that before you start answering some of those supplemental questions that are specific to universities. All right, so um, wrapped it up here um, in terms of just some tips and tricks about writing your essay. I hope that was helpful. So I'd love to open it up to some question and answers and answer specific questions that you have about this. Um, my contact information is there if you take us, um, if you hold your camera up to scan that QR code. So I'm always happy to talk to students about writing their essay, um, helping them navigate the space. Um, so you can certainly, um, I'll give you a few seconds to pull up your phones and save my contact information. 
Um, but please in the chat, make sure you're, um, can't see your, the screen just yet, but I'm gonna stop sharing in just a moment. Um, and I'll also be in my booth so you can come grab my contact information later. All right, are there any topics I shouldn't write about um, is a question that we just got. Um, I don't, I don't think so. Um, I think, I think we're students like going back to what I was saying in terms of writing about uh, like positive stories and things like that. I think that's really when you're writing about a very either, let's say controversial topic or, um, you're writing about perhaps like, I always, I always recommend, especially for students who oftentimes students want to write about traumatic events that they've experienced. Um, and I find that a lot of students do write about that. Uh, but, and that's great. You are so welcome to write about topics like that, but there's certain, there's more topics that I would just say that you should write with caution in terms of how you're expressing that scenario to the reader. Um, so I would definitely recommend that if you are writing topics that are, are very, um, um, emotionally driven um, and their topics that you feel really passionate about that perhaps have controversial views and things like that, um, that you want to just make sure you're writing why it's important to you um, and using it as a learning experience that helps guide you, right? Um, and how you've moved forward. If there's something specific or a challenge that you're talking about, how you've managed to get past it. So I don't think that there's necessarily any specific topic that you shouldn't write about. I think you just need to make sure that you're always bringing it back to you and how it's important to you and why it's important to you and that you're also writing it from a positive perspective um, in terms of learning experiences. I hope that helps answer that question. Uh, another question, I'm a junior currently, when's the right time to begin writing your essay? So a lot of juniors um, going into their senior year will often have, especially in the springtime, a lot of counselors will start talking about your essay. Um, there's really no specific time or early time. You can start whenever you want, even if right now you're just writing down some ideas that come to you um, in your notes on your phone or something like that. Um, and you're just thinking about some topics that might be of interest to you. Um, I remember when I was in grad school and I had to do my my final thesis um, in the first semester. I had two years to go, but in the first semester, I was inspired by something and I just wrote it down in my notes on my phone and kept it for later and just um, thought through it when the time came. So it, so you certainly can start doing that now. I would say over the summer going into your, your final year is a great time to really start brainstorming that. A lot of applications are due in the early fall, um, whether that's November or right around this time as a senior is when you're going to start writing those, um, those essays and submitting the application. So you certainly want to start before your schoolwork um, gets busy in the fall. So I would say sometime in July or August going into your final year is a good time to get started on that and really start writing it out um, to start preparing. What is the best way to practice with writing an essay? Well, I mean, like I said, you, you're certainly writing, you're writing things in high school and um, just, I would just start writing. I think um, any any advice in terms of writing in general is just to start writing. Start learning how it is that you like to, how your voice is in terms of um, what you write about, right? Um, what does your voice sound like? How do you like to write? Um, are you more of a creative writer or do you like more technical writing? Um, so I think if you just start writing things that are important to you um, and writing them out, you'll find a rhythm in terms of what it is that you like to write. And again, um, in terms of just structuring intro, body, paragraph, like um, your body with the paragraphs and then the conclusion. So make sure that whatever topics come to mind, you think about, can I, can I intro this in an interesting way that captivates my audience? Can I write a conclusion about how I've learned from this? And um, what are the details in between? So if you just make some bullet points in terms of those three spaces, um, it will often help you write the essay once you get to that point. Um, and you can kind of just make sure that you're, you're touching upon all those bullet points that you set for yourself in those three areas uh, when you do write the essay. Um, as an American citizen living in the Netherlands, is discussing the learning opportunities I had and how they brought in my horizons a good topic. Any tips? 
Um, yes, of course. Um, again, that's a unique experience to you, right? Um, you're probably perhaps a little more familiar with American culture. Um, and I think that's always a great perspective. Um, I think when you're thinking about writing these kinds of topics, what is it that you're going to bring to a community and, um, you know, colleges and universities want diversity and they want to see different perspectives on campus, right? That keeps things exciting. We have a very global community at Lynn. And we, we value unique perspectives and unique learning experiences. So certainly for you, you have a unique perspective. Um, so you, and you have the opportunity to potentially compare it uh, to some degree, right? Um, how do you view it, right? How do you view American culture and um, if you have experience with that, and how does that compare to where you are now? Um, so that's certainly a great topic, for sure. Any other questions? So I have a few minutes here, so if you want to throw any more in the chat box, you're welcome to do that. Some of my favorites, so I'm trying to think, the, the essay that I showcased um, in my slides uh, was probably one of my favorite essays that I've read in the last year or so. And it was a student who was talking about um, how he had changed schools like eight or nine times um, throughout his academic career before going to college and university. Um, so, he started his essay saying, I'm the professional new kid. And when I started reading it, I was like, I don't know what that means. Um, but as I read it, I understood it, right? He, he showcased a side of him that he found humor to some degree, right? He found some lightheartedness in having to start over, right? On numerous occasions, meet new friends. Um, it, what that essay showcased to me was that he was able to adapt, right? He didn't say that in his essay, but he, he, was able to convey that in a creative way that showed that he was good at adapting and being flexible and what he learned from it um, and what making friends and starting in new places meant to him. Um, and he got good at it, right? Because that was his life. Um, so that was a unique story to him. I once had a student um, write about, uh, it was a little more of a creative writing piece, but um, they loved food and food culture and they decided to relate their, their life to um, layers of a, a cheeseburger, um, like a fancy cheeseburger, right? And that, you know, the buns had represented the stability and the foundation, right? Um, and kept everything together. But then on the inside, you had all of these different pieces. And together, they work really well. But what are those pieces, right? And she related every piece of a burger to, um, to her, her life uh, and what that meant and how all of those came together within the two to the two buns of, of the burger. And I thought that was a really, it always stood out to me. Um, and I, re I read that maybe like seven or eight years ago. Um, and it was very unique, but you don't have to be creative like that. But it was a, it was something that captured my attention and stood out to me in the review process. Um, see, I almost feel like I have too many ideas of what I can write about. Uh, how do I know when I have found the topic that best represents me? Only you can know that. Um, and certainly, like I mentioned, you you have an opportunity to tell us one concise story. And you can pull a few different factors of your life and who you are um, into that story, but you just want to make it clear. Um, and that's kind of an opportunity to, to perhaps, like I said, have an interview with the admission counselors to tell a little bit more about yourself um, and showcase a few more sides of you. But I think you may not find the one topic, but find something that just excites you to write about. Um, as admission counselors, we don't want this to be an overly stressful process for you. Um, we want you to just tell us your story and tell us something that you're passionate about. And I think when students write about something that they enjoy or that they get excited about, it's easier to write the essay instead of trying to find what it is we want to hear, right? Because I have my own personal interests and my own personal ideas and, and beliefs, right? Um, but that doesn't necessarily mean that's what matters to you. So um, it's hard to say, like I could tell you something that I love to read, but that doesn't necessarily represent you as a student. So I'd say write about something that excites you. Um, use that brainstorming 
exercise to write down and make some notes about topics that matter to you and then take it another step to say, okay, well, can I structure this into an essay that has a con an intro, a body and conclusion? Or is it just kind of a topic that I could probably just write about, um, but there's really no like foundational piece to, to provide like a concise essay. Um, so I'd say take it from there and, and choose one of the topics that just makes you happy and makes you excited to talk about or brings out a different side of you or an emotional side of you that you you love to share and feels like it tells you a story that the reader should know. Um, and any advice for students interested in applying to Lynn? So um, I like I said, I do speak to to my university in terms of what we look for, and that's why it's always important to talk to every university um, in terms of what they're looking for, because every university is different. They have different programs. They're looking for different types of students. Um, every university has a different culture and environment. So there's certain students that will be good fits for that university that may not be at Lynn and vice versa, right? So we're also in that essay looking for the right fits and um, based on interests and, and goals and, and things like that. So when it comes to us at Lynn, we are looking at your application very holistically. And you'll hear this from a lot of colleges and universities, but we truly believe and feel that every piece of your application is an important representation of who you are. And we utilize that to look at, will this student be successful at Lynn University based on the resources that we have and the information they provided to us? That's really, as an admission counselor, like the first question I ask myself after I review an application is, do we have the resources for this student to find success and happiness here, whether that's academically, socially, culturally, um, you know, do we have that support network for them? Um, because every university has their pros and cons and they have things that students want and don't want and, and, and different interests, right? So um, I think when it comes to applying to Lynn specifically, we're looking at all the pieces. Um, so your transcript matters, certainly. Uh, we want to make sure that you're academically prepared to do well. We have a very heavy uh, reading, writing, presentation type of curriculum that all of our students are required to take in addition to their major classes. So we want to make sure that are you, can you handle the amount of writing that we do in our core curriculum? Um, are you looking to be in maybe a less traditional liberal arts curriculum that we offer, right? Um, so are you a good fit for, for what we're teaching you and our teaching style at Lynn and the way that our faculty interacts with you? Um, and then your essay is also showing us who you are. We have a very open-minded family, international, global community on our campus. Um, so if you're telling us a story that, you know, you want to be around people that are all the same as you or that, um, you know, you want a certain type of culture on your campus that perhaps we don't have, um, you know, we're looking for that in your essay. So we're looking for all of the pieces. And again, for myself as an admission counselor, I'm looking for you to tell me who you are. Um, we want students of all, all cultures, backgrounds, um, interests on our campus. Uh, so we just want you to share who it is that you are and how you'll contribute to our campus. Um, so that's my advice for you. But we are looking at all the pieces. So your essay certainly matters at Lynn. Some schools won't consider your essay as the most important factor, but for us, it is one of the most important. So I think we have like just a couple minutes left, so we're pretty much at the end of the session. Um, so any final questions that come in, I'm happy to answer them, but thank you for your questions. Um, I think they were great questions. I hope you feel like this has been helpful. Uh, you're welcome to throw it in the chat. I hope you feel a little bit less stressed. Um, going into the essay writing portion, um, and I hope you grabbed my contact information. But if not, just stop by my booth um, and I'll make sure you get that if you have any follow-up questions or want to just bounce some topic ideas um, off of me. I'm, I'm more than happy to have those conversations with you. So thanks for joining me. appreciate it. And um, looking forward, forward to staying connected. Thank you so much, Bianca. That was a really great session and really helpful to answer the show. Great, thank you.